Bosch. We've got some great physics today on our Random Space Fact, and to help me out, I've got Diana from the Physics Girl YouTube channel. Welcome. Yeah, thanks for having me. Galileo came up with the theory that if you drop two objects at the same time, no matter what their mass, they will hit at the same time, and that their acceleration is independent of mass. So Diana and I are going to test this out here today using a feather. And, and a hammer. Three, two, one, drop. Well, the hammer hit considerably before the feather. Yep. Uh, why, why might that be true? Well, in this room we've got some air, which is causing air resistance as these objects fall down. So there's a bunch of air molecules, and as the objects fall, they bump into all those molecules and they get slowed down by those collisions. The feather is a lot lighter. It has a smaller mass. Right. So it's affected a lot more by each bump, each collision. Galileo's theory was actually that if there were no air resistance, that if it were in a vacuum, that the two objects would hit at the same time. Now in 1971, Apollo 15 astronaut Dave Scott on the moon, which is essentially in a vacuum, he did this same experiment, dropped a hammer and a feather, let's see what happened. Well, in my left hand I have a, a feather, in my right hand a hammer. How about that? Mr. Galileo was correct. That was so awesome, but I kind of wish that it were in HD and not quite so grainy. Well, luckily for you, with modern graphics technology and the amazing graphics department of Random Space Fact, we can simulate this using just a graphical feather and, uh, and do the test again. Three, two, one, drop! Does your graphics department hurt you on your show? Yes, all the time. They say it's necessary. Don't yours? Nope. I have got to fire my graphics department. Ah! 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 